Hello friends, you welcome back and thank you for joining. In today's video, we'll be cooking corn chaff. Corn chaff is a one pot Cameroonian dish made of corn and beans. It's just like corn and beans mixed together with some ingredients added. It is very delicious. And if you want to know how I come up with this, just stay tuned. You join me in the kitchen and we get started. And friends, the main thing that we'll use for our corn chaff is corn and beans so the corn is washed and the bag removed and the beans is cooked so so i'm using three cups of corn and four cups of beans i always like my beans to be slightly more than the corn so you can as well use sweet corn or popcorn but you have to wash and peel the bag some garlic so i have three cloves of garlic here but you will need about five to six cloves it just depends on the quantity of food you are preparing but i have some chopped garlic minced garlic right here that i will add to 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 that and then you need half an inch i'm using half an inch of ginger that i have peeled and chopped one large onion here you have some seasoning cubes i just like to crush them so it will be easy for me and you have here the african onion we call it rondelle in french back home and this is how it looks like this is how the african onion looks like you need about one cup of palm oil or half a cup it just depends on the quantity of corn chaff you're preparing you can as well use vegetable oil or you can we mix both some crayfish i have half a cup of crayfish right here and i also have like half of one green bell pepper here this is totally optional if you want you can add it in i always like to add bell pepper in my food because it gives some nice flavor too when you cook the corn chaff here i have some leeks so you need some leeks also totally optional some pepper for a little bit of heat if you love pepper answer present <laughs> And here's a clear view of all what we need for corn chaff. So let's just go ahead and mix the corn and beans. We set it on a fire before we blend the rest of the ingredients. And you can go ahead and add the corn and beans to the pot. But I'll first add the corn and warm it up a bit before I add in the beans. So the next thing you will do is to add in some water. You just add in about half a cup, not a lot of water. Corn chaff doesn't need much water except you prefer to add in much water so you add in a little bit of water and you go ahead and turn off on the stove see you in a minute and let's just go ahead and blend our ingredients i'll start by adding in the ginger next i'll add in the garlic and for the quantity of garlic i'll just complete it with the minced garlic add in Add in the country onion, the onion, I will as well add in some leeks friends as I told you this is optional but I like this because it gives a lot of taste and good flavor to your conch. A little bit of water. Then you go ahead and then all done. Here is a blend of all the spices. We will use this to prepare the corn chaff. Meanwhile, you go ahead and check your pot. And at this point, you can then add in the beans. So I just covered the pot for it to like warm up. Now you add the beans. After you add the beans, you can add in some salt to paste. You add in the fish. If you have crayfish or maybe you are using fish, you can go ahead and add in the fish. I'm using crayfish, so I'll just go ahead and add in the crayfish. At this point, sorry, and at this point, you just add in everything, friends. Corn chaff is so easy, so I'm adding in the palm oil. 
after you add in the palm oil you can then go ahead and add in that blend of goodness i mean the spices that we blended you add it in and you give it a gentle mix our conchaf is almost getting ready yay and conchaf is not that hard to prepare so you just need to when the beans and the corn is ready you just need to add in all the ingredients mix it put it on the fire just put it on the fire so that the the raw taste of the palm oil will disappear and that's it about conchaf and this dish friends is just so so delicious if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please remember to click on the notification bell so that you can always get a notification of all my videos and look at our concha friends and this is how our concha will look like when we are done so we'll just cover the pot and allow it to simmer for some time not for long though because we already cooked the corn and beans so we'll just allow it to simmer so that the spices can mix well and that is it our concha will be ready for us to eat i appreciate you all for watching i appreciate your support and please do share the video sharing is caring and remember to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and subscription is free so you just need to press on the red button and support and show some love our corn chaff is ready friends go ahead turn off the stove allow the corn chaff to settle down then you share and enjoy this concha friends you can as well enjoy it with some puff puff or gâteau i already did a video of that i will link i will put a link in the description box below thank you all for watching i appreciate you all and remember i got you back friends i got you back see you next time bye you